Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. My name is of course Constantine and today in the world of indie gaming we're going to be checking out a game called Little Big Workshop. Now this game is going to be a little bit different than uh, what we used to play in the past few days. We've been playing quite a bit of adventure games uh, but uh, I feel like I want to change this up a little bit. I feel like I want to try a, a builder game. A game that's going to allow us to be a little bit more strategic and uh, try to build a workshop. Again, not quite sure what this is all about. I haven't played this game at all. Uh, I've just seen a few gameplays and trailers from developers. And uh, this was uh, really intriguing. So without further ado, guys, before we jump into this one, as usual, let me just take a quick moment here to thank developers for sending in a review copy for the game to share with you all and uh, create a series out of it, of course, if you enjoyed it. So that being said, sit back, relax, and let's enjoy a little bit of a strategy game. Right, so, before we start this off, the factory name, hmm, what's the factory name going to be? Constantinople, of course. <laughs> I know I keep on using this one for every single one of my city builders or uh, houses that we keep on creating here, but uh, I really like this type of name, especially because, of course, it's combined with my channel name, but uh, let's just uh, give this one a shot and uh, see what we got to do here. Well, look at this. This is actually looking pretty beautiful. Look at this beautiful world. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> it's all in the miniature, apparently. Whoa. Alright, camera movement or using the mouse. Whoa, look at the walls, how they're hiding. That is so cool. Oh, hold up. We gotta answer the phone. Hello there, I just opened a new shop close to your factory and seeing as you are here and seeing as you are new here, maybe we can help each other out? Get yourself a workbench and take a look around. I'll call again in a bit. Hmm. Alright buddy, uh, purchase your first workshop. Purchase your first workstation from the shop. Ah, look at that. Alright, so apparently we got ourselves a uh, workstation. Um, I'm guessing I want to place you right up here. It's not going to be perfectly centered, unfortunately, but, uh, yeah, we'll manage. It doesn't have to be perfectly centered, so let me just place it right up here like that. Alright, there we go. Uh, apparently, this one's going to take some time before it's going to be built, or accept the order. Or never mind, we got to accept it. Alright, and I'm guessing one of my builders is going to go on and uh, place it up as we are receiving it. Yes, we are. Look at that. <laughs> oh, man, this game is so freaking cool. It's really enjoyable at the same time. Alright, I'm guessing this guy's gonna deliver this stuff, or... Uh, order workstation take a while to deliver and install. Interesting. Uh, so we gotta wait for this fella to bring it over. And uh, build it in, I guess. That is, uh... Not bad at all. <laughs> it's gonna take him some while, I guess, to do this. Uh, can we actually speed this up? Yes, we can. Ah, there we go. And she's the one that came over and built it. Interesting. Hey, you got yourself a workbench, I see. My stock my stock of garden gnomes are getting pretty low. Can you make me a couple? Yeah, buddy. Sure I do. Alright, let's see. Plant product. Mm -hmm. This is planning mode. Here you can design and preview how each of your products will be created. Square shaped nodes like these are products apart. Uh, these can be anything from small wood planks to complex uh, sub assemblies. Hmm, so apparently we are going to need three wood chunks. And then detail simple, and then it's going to be done, I guess. So let's just see how this works. Uh, Circle-shaped nodes look like these are operations. These are actions performed by your workers on different kinds of workstations. And this is the final product. Alright, uh, operation nodes need a workstation to carry them. Ah, uh, so we got to connect this with something. I'm guessing with this one. And execute. Ah, alright, look at that. So we gave an order. We got an order over here, but I guess we are waiting for wood right now so that we can start working. Man, but the world looks so beautiful though. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Are you kidding me? Alright, let me fast forward a little bit here. Alright, so she's got the wood, just as I thought. And she's gonna start working as well. Not bad at all. 
This game is gonna be really fun. I have a feeling about that. Look at that. We got one of them. We got one of the gnomes. All right. Uh, wait. What? Zones cannot be placed outside. Oh, hold up. Do I have to actually? No, no, no. Cancel. There's any storage area for your materials. Aha. Uh -huh. So we gotta put a storage area. What if I place it? No. Come on. Up here, like that. Hmm. Got it. I do feel like I need to expand it, though. Can I expand this one now? Priority. Hold up. I really, really want to expand this one somehow. There we go. So this area is going to be storage. Perfect. Look at that. We got it. This is looking great. I'm really enjoying this game so far. It's really chill. It's really one of those uh, chill building games. And uh, really soon, we are going to be done with all three of the gnomes. Alright, buddy. There you go. Finish your products. And now, we just got to deliver. And I'm guessing we got to wait for the truck to come on over and pick him up. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> look at these fellas. Oh, I love it. All right, well, we got everything delivered, I guess. Access your economy summary to make sure you made money. Of course I made money. Hold up, hold up. Let me switch here and check this out. Payment received, 3,000. Look at that. Awesome. Hey, hi again. The gnomes are a hit, and I want to put up more of them for sale. Can you make some shelves? I can use them for that. Interesting. All right, next up, we got a plant product. Uh, we got to make some shelves, apparently. Hmm... All right, attribute define the quality of a product. Uh, this contract has attribute requirements 10. Aha. Uh -huh. So we got to make sure the quality is going to be 10. Uh, attributes are determined by the parts and materials used. Interesting. Choices with red background are impossible to match requirements with your current setup. Either make other selections as well in the... Either make... Uh, Either make other selections elsewhere in the plan to make this uh, selection possible, or choose something with a clear background. So we definitely have to choose this one, because red one is not going to work. Select the material to make this product from. So I guess we got to use the wood to make the uh, product from, right? Yeah, just like that. Alright. Um, this one, I'm guessing we got to connect here. This one, we got to connect here as well, right? Hopefully, I don't even know. Purchase a workstation that can perform this operation. Ah, hold up. I think I need another workstation. Yeah. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So, this one is definitely different, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Hold up. You know what? Let me just move these workstation here. Place that over there. Can I actually move this one? Uh, move right over here, just like that. Accept. All right, so we have two workstations on this side. Uh, this one, we have to move it, of course, and order. All right, now we just got to wait for our people to do their thing. Uh, I don't know who's going to move this one. Hopefully, she is. Is she? Yeah, I think she is. All right, look at that. I think she's moving it. Yeah, perfect. Truck arrived at loading bay. Uh, enter planning mode. Let me see. All right, so now we can connect this one. Interesting. All right, well, I guess we got everything going. This one is already on auto, so we should be all good. Uh, jigsaw cutter. You know what? I feel like we need a jigsaw cutter. Or maybe is that the one? Hmm, I think it is. Execute. All right, look at that. We got so many orders in. Perfect. And if I speed through this... Hopefully, we're going to be able to do the jobs. Uh, one of your workers ran out of energy and collapsed. Ah, uh, interesting. A worker has collapsed from exhaustion. You can prevent this by uh, making sure there are always plenty of breaks available in your break room. Uh, break room, let your workers recover faster. Interesting. Hold up, hold up. So apparently I got to create a break room somewhere around here. Uh, what if I place this one? I don't know. Let's just create this one to be the break room, maybe. Right over here. Just like that. Um, 
What else do we have here? I mean, all this stuff is costing money, which is going to be a little bit difficult. Um, I don't even know how to get this guy to get off the ground. All right, we got that. I guess we got enough money for now. Uh, we also have a table here that I'd like to use if possible. Also, can I actually create... Or mark down the room. What if I mark down this zone? Ah, we can make it. Maybe like that. How do I define this one, though, to be the one that I want? Hmm, I don't even know. Yeah, right now I want to define that area to be the uh, restroom, but... It doesn't look like I can figure it out, so let me just delete it then. Unfortunately, this guy is going to have to uh, just wait for uh, its energy to come back. I mean, I'm pretty sure we are going to be able to expand here, all this area. We are going to be able to expand it so that we can increase our factory. Uh, but at the moment, we, gotta, we just got to wait for this guy to come back up. So that we have more workers doing their job. Alright, speed through. There we go. At least we got one of the guys doing uh, it, the work. <laughs> oh, look at this. This area has actually changed. I'm guessing this one has become became the uh, restroom just because we added all these elements inside here. Interesting. Well, apparently we cannot call for anything anymore. Now, I don't know how to get this guy to wake up. I'm guessing once his energy is going to be back up, that's when he's going to get back up and start doing its job. I don't even know. But look at that. We are getting some materials done. That is perfect. But I really, I really wish this one is going to come back as well so that he can start working and helping up. So let me just uh, speed through this a little bit more. Come on, buddy. There we go. All right, perfect. Um, hmm. I feel like I want to move this one so I can place the table in there. I don't even know. Yeah, you know what? Let me just place this one here, just like that. Let me speed through this. Now, let me move this one. Mm. Maybe right over here. There we go, just like that. <laughs> I love that. Look at this. All right, we now have a table. We now have this one that I would like to uh, place like that. There we go. Much better. This is better organization, of course. And for now, we should be good. I see that we can also sell stuff if you want to sell it, which is great. But we are getting really close to making the shelves. Look at that. We got one out of five. So we still need to make a few more. All right. Let's deliver. There we go. We got five shells. We are all good. That is perfect. Of course, as we keep on growing our factory here, the game is going to become even more and more complicated. I'm pretty sure about it. But for now, it all looks good. All right. Come on, guys. Just deliver the shelves. There we go. We got all delivered. Hey, get out of the truck. Don't leave me with the truck. Please don't leave me with the truck. <laughs> I need you. Alright, there we go. We are done. Perfect. I just got the shipment of shelves. They took. They look amazing. People are already eyeing them as they get lo unloaded. Gnomes and shelves. I reckon that I'm set for a while. I'll get back to you later if something new comes up. Meanwhile, you should check the market. There are lots of other folks around here that need all kinds of supplies. Later. All right, buddy. Let's see what we got in the market then. Uh, challenges. This is the general market. Products are here required continuously, and you can use it as a stable source of income. Oh, look at that. So somebody apparently wants... Uh, these tags give you a rough idea of what kind of product is required. Hmm. Plastic. This shows the current price and demand for the product. Oh, God. This is going to get complicated, though. So the price is 120. Demand, 7 out of 70 uh, units. 
uh, these are the attributes you must surpass for your products to be accepted. So we gotta make sure the uh, product is gonna surpass 6 and 6. Overall, this product isn't very suitable. It's got a low demand, average price, and it requires a plastic workstation that you don't own yet. Ah, uh, I get it. But we do have wood, and look at the price, 462. This is definitely something we want to do, for sure. This product is quite simple to produce, has a high demand, and the pay is decent. A much better option than the previous one. Hmm, interesting. Alright, plan the product then. Uh, let's see. So the product needs to be 1-4. 1-4. This one is 4-1, so I think this is the one that we need. Alright, uh, the type of woods, I'm guessing it's gonna be this one. What if I choose this one? This one is one four two seven. Yeah, you know what? I feel like this is what I gotta meet. This is much much better because this one is a little bit more expensive, and uh, I mean it costs more, but I'm getting less money for it. So let me go for that one. Uh, connect this one over, hopefully here. Uh, connect this one to here. And this one is the assembly station right over here. Yeah, I think uh, I think we're good to go. Uh, set the target amount of seven product because that's what we need. Seven. There we go. And other than this, I feel like yeah, I feel like that is all, if I'm not mistaken. All right, executes. Of course, I'm definitely gonna have to make more of these workbenches uh, just so that. We got more people working. Inspect your workstation by right-clicking on it. Uh, this job is going to take a really long time to finish. Is it? Am I supposed to make another one or... Oh yeah, you know what? I think I'm supposed to make another one. Pretty sure about that. Alright, let me place another one here then. Why not? Hopefully two of them are going to be enough to finish the job. Or there. All right, let's speed through this. And hopefully we can get this one coming in as well. Inspect your workstation by right clicking on it. Split this queue item in two. Ah, look at that. Transfer one of these jobs to a new workstation. Just as I thought. So we gotta transfer this one to this one. There you go. That is so cool. So now we have two of the assembly works, uh, two of two of the assembly jobs on both of these uh, workstations. All right, that is good to know. And whenever I'm gonna need another one of these uh, cutting wood boards or workstation, I am gonna craft or order another one. You also need to hire more workers. Hire one operator. All right, there we go. We got another operator apparently. Interesting. And we got a phone call. No, 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 hey, it's a disaster. The gnomes you made for me have already sold out. And I need more. Now, I'll pay you anything. All right, buddy. Definitely gonna do that. Most definitely don't do that. Uh, hopefully, I finish with this order, though. But in the meantime, let me just plan another one. So apparently, we need six gnomes. Uh, we are gonna use that. Of course, we are gonna assemble them or cut them there. And let's see, how many we need? We need six. Execute. Uh, this project needs to be prioritized. However, hover over the tracker and click the priority button. Oh, we can uh, prioritize it here. Interesting. Look at that. All right, let me prioritize this one then. Because, of course, all these missions are probably going to be time-based or some of them. Yeah, this one is two days. Yeah, exactly. This one has no time base. Uh, this one is contracted, but this one is um, time-based. Interesting, not bad. The thing is, this one is almost over. We need one more house there, and we should be done. But the gnomes are almost done as well, which is great. I love that we have this for them to get their energies back. That is perfect. Oh, wait a minute. What's happening here? Something's wrong with this one. I think we gotta fix it. Uh, how do I fix it, though? Yeah, something, something definitely happened with this one. Uh, repair to raise its operation efficiency. Interesting. Well, let's just let this guy finish its job and then I'm gonna fix it. This one is almost over, so we should just let it do its thing. Come on, buddy. We got this. 
And come on. Almost over. There we go. Job complete. We can now deliver. And we can now also go ahead and uh, fix this up. Repair plans. All right. Hopefully one of, the, one of these two guys are going to go over and uh, fix it up. In the meantime, look at that. We just got to deliver the gnomes and we should be all good. Speed through this. Look at this. It's repairing it. Perfect. Oh, man. This game is so relaxing. You can check your relation with your customers here. I mean, this guy is definitely the one that loves us the most, for sure. Absolutely. Uh, and I don't have any other customers at the moment. All right. Uh, let me go ahead and see if I can actually get myself some more orders. Why not? Um, complete some products to sell here. Hold up. We still need a few more, actually, to finish this one. Before I can take more uh, product. Before I can take more jobs. There we go. Uh, wait, what? Open market. These products are ready to be sold to the general market. Open the market offer. Huh. Alright, so if I want to sell them here. Deliver. There we go. We got it. Perfect. Alright, can I take more jobs? Complete some products to sell here. Yeah, I know. I just want to take more jobs, but I don't know how to do it. Hmm. Oh, never mind. Look at that. We just got something here. The help section contains more details, information about how to play the game. All right, buddy. Got it. Uh, graduate from the in-game tutorial. So I'm guessing we are done with the tutorial. Now, on, if you do need some help, I just got to press on this. And this one's going to give us some in-game help, which is great. So, our next missions are going to be deliver more than 100 products and complete at least three client challenges. Interesting. Oh, we can also do research. Seriously, this section is used to upgrade and improve your factory. Each upgrade may cost um, varying amounts of upgrade points. Hmm. So, if I want to use this... Look at that. We can now expand maybe our factory. But the thing is, we use all the points that we had so far. We definitely don't have anything anymore. Uh, can I get some more jobs? Oh, there we go. We can start getting some more jobs. Perfect. And apparently... Whoa. Hold on. Look at this. Price. 753. I feel like this uh, has a really good pr price. So, let me just plant this product. Alright. We're going to have to do a lot of work here. So, first of all... Uh, the quality is going to have to be 11 and 6. Hmm... I hope I can do it. This one is 11, 6, 9. Yeah, I guess I guess it should work. What if I use this one to lower down the quality of the materials a little bit? If I use this one, the materials are going to cost more. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that one. Uh, oh, the problem is I don't think I have or do I? Yeah, I don't think I have the right workstations here. Uh, I feel like we need the um, small foundry, swing station, metal workstation, paint station. Hmm. We definitely need to uh, order some new things. And I feel like we are going to need this one. Uh, let me place it here. There we go. Uh, let's see what else. Injection press. I mean, we're definitely gonna need an injection press press eventually. Somebody. Can I actually pl place this one here? Yes, we can. Just like that. Uh, ooh, we're also making noise with all of these. Interesting. Are you serious right now? There's there's gonna be so many things we're gonna have to uh keep in mind though. So that's going to be the swing station, small foundry. I don't even know what this is, but uh, I got to buy it over here, I guess. Can I place it there? No. Uh, you know what? Let me just place it here then. Just like that. Uh, the paint station, I'm guessing, over here. And we should be all good. Of course, we're spending a lot of money to grab all these, but uh, that's okay. All right, uh, hold up, hold up. How do we get that job done? 
do we definitely have some orders over here that we already have to uh, deal with how do i go to the orders planning mode all right right there we go there we go so if you double click on a node you will also select all the nodes leading up to it huh yeah i'm definitely going to use the standard thingy here let me select that one uh that's okay glue Mm -hmm. I guess we got to use that one. Oh, no. I think we need a different station. Yeah, for the glue. Interesting. As for the cast, we are going to have to use that one. But uh, we still uh, we are still waiting for that one to receive it. And for the jigsaw, of course, it's going to be this one. But again, we also need to wait for that one. And I think we are done. Now, how many tables do we need? Batching allows completing five products at a time. Interesting. But how many do we need, though? Hold up. I need to. Uh, I need to figure out how many we need. Where can I see the missions? Research workers, inventory, client relations. Hmm. This offer is expiring from the market, so make sure you sell off any products depending on it before it goes. The price is really low, so I'm not gonna do this one. Um, hold up. How many do we need? Attribute cubes and beauty of boxes. Get the creation item for your room to make your worker more efficient. Yeah, I know, I know. The problem right now is that I don't know how many tables we need, though. I'm a little bit confused. Uh, let me also place one of these here. Why not? Order. Just so that we can store things. What's up with these fellas? What are they doing? Why, did, why are they, they not starting the work that I told them to start? Execute. What? Why not? Oh, hold up. I think I need to select the type of wood. Look at that. 11, 6, which is perfect. That's exactly what we needed. And finally, it's going to be assembled here. All right, but again, oh, I think I actually need one. Execute then. I thought that I needed more, but never mind. Uh, this shelf is not property. It's not properly within the conf confined zone. Wait, what? Is it not? Hmm. All right. Anyway, uh, let me start placing some decorations just so that these guys are not gonna be sad anymore. Uh, no, I don't want that. I think I want a plant over here. Place another plant, maybe. No, not that one. This one? I cannot place any there. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, place one here then. Uh, look at this. Yeah, they are a little bit sad because there's just so much stuff around here that's making them sad. Uh, but we also have to place some plants and things around. Just so that they're going to be a little bit happy, happier, I guess. Let me place another plant. Oh, I cannot. Small sign. Street lamp. Hmm. Let me place that, place that over there. Why not? I know that we are spending quite a bit of money right now, but... We have to make them a little bit happier, I guess. Let me also place this one over here. And I think I'm going to need to move this one. Move. Where should I move this one? Should I move it here? I guess. It looks like it's going to be... Uh, dang it. You know what? I feel like I got to move this one a little bit. Hold up. Uh, edit. Maybe something like that. Uh, I'm going to wait for this guy to move its thing. And then I'm going to move that one in here, maybe. Maybe that's going to be better for the shelves. The thing is, storing things on these ones, it's probably going to be better than storing them on the ground. So that's why I want to do this. Uh, order. All right, we spent 700 coins on getting... Uh... Oh, wait, what's that sound? Oh, no, never mind. I thought something, th something was burning, but apparently this guy is using the forge there. All right, let me also now move this one. Hopefully... That's going to be better. Wait, what? Efficient storage that causes no obstruction. If you can't store your stuff in this, in this, it's better to just put it on the floor. Hmm. 
I wonder if I actually have to expand this one like that. There we go. That's what I had to do. So now all this area, including the shelves, are going to be considered storage. All right. That makes sense. Let me just uh, speed through this. Look at that. You're beautifying the area. Perfect. Hopefully this is uh, all going to make them happier. Can also place this one. Can I be placed inside? What about if I place uh, this plant in here? There we go. All right. Obstruction caused worker to walk slower in the workstation. I know. I mean, I don't have any obstructions at the moment. Everything looks fine. And hopefully, they're going to be a little bit happier as well because we have so much stuff in here. Um, let's see. What's up with the planners? Are we getting everything we needed? No, I think we got to let it here. Yeah. Execute. Come on, guys. Hurry up. Oh, we got another product here, unfortunately. That's okay. We're going to do both of them then. All right, look at that. Open market and deliver. There you go. And hopefully we can deliver the other one as well because we are going to have an extra table that we just finished. Uh, it may be more efficient to separate your finished product into a zone of their own. Huh. I mean, I guess it could be more efficient, but... Workstation input zone and export zone. Hmm. I mean, this one could be the workstation input zone, right? So if I go ahead and select the zone... And I just mark it up right over here. Hold up. Maybe like that. Zone cannot be placed out. Wait, what? What do you mean zone cannot be placed outside? It's inside. There we go. All right. And now I select this one as the workstation. Use button to link workstation. Assembly station. Huh. Oh, why did you place it there? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, let's just remove that. For some reason, uh, yeah, we got to figure something else out. I feel like we got to uh, set, uh, set up zones whenever we're going to have more area here. But for now, let me just deliver this as the price is still high. And let me get ourselves some more jobs. Why not? Uh, let's see. Hmm. The price for this one is going up, so let's just wait. This one is going lower, unfortunately. This one's going down. Hmm. The price for these ones are actually going a little bit up. So maybe I should actually make some of these. Yeah, you know what? I feel like I'm going to want to do this. So let me just uh, do this one. Why not? Uh, as for the wood, I'm going to go with that. This one's going to cut it there. This one's going to paint it. Um... Guess there. Actually, this one is going to paint it right over here. And finally, that's going to be the final product. How many do we need? We need... Uh, I don't even know. Actually, you know what? This is where I select how many we want. So let me just make 10 of these. And hopefully, we can sell a lot of them and get a lot of money out of that. So, um, execute. All right. That is perfect. And in the meantime, let me get another product. Let's see. What else can we sell here? Hmm. I see that the price for this one is kind of going up, but it's still a little bit lower than it used to be. So let me just wait for it, and hopefully it's going to go up. Uh, this one is the price is low. This one is the price. The price on this one is actually pretty good. Plan the product. Let's see. I think we could actually do this one. Could we? I don't even know. Don't even know. Game pads. So the quality on this one needs to be 10, 11, and 2. Well, apparently it is going to be 10, 11, and 2 if I use those products. Huh. 
10, 11, and 2. That is great. Uh, we do have the injection right over here that we can use. This one's going to use the same thing. This one's going to be the assembly that I'm going to connect right there. And another assembly right over there. And the final assembly right over there. Hmm. Alright, I, I think we can do this product. Uh, I do want... Maybe five of them. Uh, we are paying 2,000, and the profit is going to be 2,000. Oh, wait, what? Salaries. Oh, after the salaries and everything, yeah. Well, we are going to make 2,000 coins, so yeah, I think I'm going to go with making five of these. For now. Alright, you know what? Let me just speed through this. And uh, let's see if we can actually do all these products, all these orders. You may change the amount of workers that should work in your loading bay by right-clicking a loading bay. Ah, look at this. We can select how many we want here. So let me just leave one. Just like that. And the rest of the guys are just going to do their jobs. Hmm. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> oh, this is our company. Look at that. We are on the 12th... On the 20th place here on the leaderboards. Interesting. So apparently, all these companies here, we gotta beat them. We gotta meet we gotta reach the top here and destroy the Nemesis Inc. <laughs> this got this is gonna be a long ways before I'm gonna be able to destroy that guy, but um uh, I think we got it. I really really think we got this. At the moment I really wanna see all these orders done and hopefully we can deliver them eventually. Alright, and look at that. We got one of the orders done, which is going to be the robot. So let me just try to sell these off for 599 because I see the price is going down. So let me just deliver it all. Perfect, get rid of it. We are completely done with that. And look at that. We are going to get some money. Come on. Let me see the money coming in. Are we getting money or not? There we go. 3000 Perfect. We are also losing quite a bit, but um, we're good. As long as we keep on creating products, we're going to be all fine. And we're really close to selling the skis as well, which is great. All right, hold up. Before I sell off the products here, let me also see if I can also get some other orders that are going to be priced quite a lot. I mean, this one is going to be priced a lot. Look at this. 923. The prices are skyrocketing for that, though. 614. 715. I can increase the... Mm, this is not the quality they... Exp oh. It's 519, actually. It's the other way around. So we're not going to meet the criteria here, though. Uh, Are you sure you want to leave this plan? Yes. All right, let me start it over. So. We got 519.823, right? I'm guessing I'm going to have to go with this one if I want the high quality. Next up. Wood board, center floor. I'm guessing this one. Oh my god. Seriously, we got so much stuff to do to get these tables. As for the wood, we can definitely get the cheapest one. That's probably going to work. Alright, let's see. 620. Yeah, I, I say this is good enough. I say this is good enough. It is a little bit over what they're expecting, but uh, it should be fine. Uh, this one is going to go on this station. I'm definitely going to have to get myself another one of those stations, though. The gluing in there. This one in there. Oh my god, all the jobs are going to be done in there, seriously? We're definitely going to have to get another one, then. Yeah, we're most definitely going to have to get another one of these uh, stations. For sure. Well, at least the assembly is going to be a little bit different. And another assembly here. There we go. Just like that. Alright, how many do we need? Um, What if I make... Oh my god, no. That's going to be too much. Uh, what if I make... Four of these, maybe. Execute. Alright, not bad. Uh, we are going to have to fix this one once again because it's kind of breaking down. And also, I do need to get myself another workstation uh, that I want to plan and place maybe right over here somewhere. Just like that. 
Yeah, we have quite a lot of work to do, but... One day, 13 hours. Time until offer this... Time until offer disappears from the market. If so, is a certainty. Oh man, seriously? So this one is time-based. I don't think I'm gonna even be able to do it because there's just so many things to do in order to finish this table up. Mm -hmm. Maybe can this purchase will drain your funds below 50%. Cancel then. You know what? I think I'm gonna cancel this order. Uh, there's just way, way too much to do that. And I don't think I got the funds right now. All I gotta do next is just deliver all the skis. And uh, that's gonna be it for this episode, for today's episode. Come on, guys. You got one more ski to do. Just finish it up and we should be all good. There we go. We can finally sell it. All right, and the skis are going to be sold for quite a lot. Look at that. Deliver. Uh, you should avoid building too many workbenches. Machines are much more efficient. Hmm. Okay, so maybe in the future I'm going to be able to get myself machines to do all this uh, work for me. Don't even know. Alright guys, well, you know what? I think that's where we're gonna have to end up the episode for now. We finally got everything created here. Uh, we got quite a lot of money out of this, but uh, we are still on... We are still losing money, so we definitely have to start producing more here if you want to keep on going. But anyway guys, that being said, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this one. And if you guys want to grab this game for yourselves, I will leave a link down below in the description so you can go ahead and check it out. In the meantime, stay safe out there, and I will see you all in the next one coming up really soon. Bye everybody!